It's Tuesday, January the 12th, and uh, we are in Psalm 119, this acrostic psalm. And today we are in the stanza uh, that begins at verse 97, and all of these um, lines in Hebrew begin with the Hebrew uh, letter Mem, uh, which roughly would be the M sound for mother, uh, M sound in our English, uh, in our English alphabet. Uh, oh, how I love your law. It is my meditation all the day. Uh, that's one of the verses that is very familiar to me. I, 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 it's one of those verses I have in my head. Uh, oh, how I love your law. It is my meditation all the day. It's more of an aspiration than a truth. I, I wish I could say I meditate on God's law all the day, uh, but it is my aspiration. And in heaven, I'm sure that will be true. Now, this psalm reflects on wisdom. Uh, wisdom, not as the world views wisdom, but wisdom as God views wisdom. And it, it says something in this section that is picked up in the opening chapters of Corinthians, uh, that, that there's such a thing as worldly wisdom, and then there is the wisdom of God. And those who are worldly wise are not always spiritually wise, and those who are spiritual, spiritually wise are not always worldly wise. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for your testimonies are my meditation. Now, you could read that and think, that's a very arrogant statement to say. That sounds like an adolescent saying to his teacher, you know, I know more than you do, and, and so on. And that would, that would be very typical of adolescents. Uh, but that's not what the psalmist is saying. Because he knows God and because he knows God's word, he has a worldview that sees through um, the mirage that is the worldview of the worldly wise. So I have more understanding than all my teachers, for your testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the aged, for I keep your precepts. So here, you know, this is a Hebrew culture where the where the older are considered wiser, and there are cultures, sadly not ours, but there are cultures that, where that still is is true. Um, but in this case, you can be old and wise, but only in a worldly wise way, and not in a godly wise way. And so this young man, who uh, is meditating on God's word and God's precepts, God's scripture. Uh, is in one sense more wise than uh, the aged. Uh, verse 102, I do not turn aside from your rules, for you have taught me. And in the Hebrew, the you is very, very emphatic. You have taught me. Uh, this is a young man who realizes that as he meditates on God's word, it is actually God himself who is speaking to him. And then he goes on to say in verse 103, how sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. And again, that's one of those verses that you know very well, I'm sure, and one of those things that you've remembered. And then it ends, through your precepts I get understanding. Through your precepts I get understanding. You know, we may not be able to fathom uh, the science that splits the atom. Uh, I learned mathematical equations 50 years ago that I couldn't even read now, uh, but at, at one time I, I understood them. Um, but when you read God's word and when you hide God's word in your heart, you are wiser than most of the people uh, in the world. Well, that's uh, mem, uh, the M sound uh, in the Hebrew al alphabet, uh, verses 97 through 104. Uh, tomorrow we'll look at the N sound, the nun in the Hebrew alphabet. Have a wonderful day. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, and you want to make sure you get all of our content, not just videos, but podcasts and ministry updates, make sure you download our app. If you think you might have missed a video, click on our YouTube channel. A link should be down below. There you can see all of our videos. And if you want to make sure you don't miss anything in the future, hit subscribe. If you want to be one of the first ones to know when we release a video, hit that little bell icon. And if this video has blessed you and you can think of someone else that it might help, use that share icon and send it to them. 
all of course for the edification of God's people and the glory of his name. Until next time, God bless.